Hi, welcome to another episode of Vivid Aquariums TV. I'm Dave, and tonight I'm going to show you how to frag chalices and conopelias. I have a beautiful piece here. This is Jada's watermelon. Doesn't look as great under not under lights, but uh, I've been growing this here at Vivid for over five years now. And we're going to use the DFS inland saw to cut off some uh, sections from the perimeter. We'll cut them up and then mount them on the frag plugs here on the table. So let's go over to the saw and get it going. And uh, the saw does drip water down, so it's cut uh, with water. It helps to make a cleaner cut. We'll go ahead and start cutting. There we see, we got two pieces. I'm gonna take this small piece here and cut it again. Just cutting between the eyes of the coral. You make sure that each frag piece has at least one eye on it. It helps it to survive and grow a lot better. The saw is uh, getting a little temperamental with me. There we have some small fragments. After I cut them with a the saw, I like to use a turkey baster and put them in the water again and just gently blow some jets of water to basically dust them off. Now, chalices can be out of water again for three, four minutes, no problem. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put some frag glue on our plugs. And it's awfully, often useful to use tweezers for really small stuff like this. Just set it on top of the glue. And then use a toothpick if you need to, just to make sure that the glue attaches to the piece well so that it stays on the plug. So that's a frag right there. I'm going to repeat those steps with all the other pieces we cut. So mounting chalices at Cotophilias is very easy. Fragging them is simple. It's definitely a lot better using an inland saw. In the olden days, we used to use Dremels, but uh, those blades don't cut with water, and so we had a lot higher loss rate. Nowadays, uh, we cut 100 frags, maybe we lose five or six, but a uh, very, very good success rate with cutting chalices using this saw and doing it just the way we showed you here. So. This means we can all collect those nice rare ones and eventually share them throughout the hobby and draw less from the ocean and have nicer pieces for our tanks. So hope you guys learned something and uh, we'll keep these videos coming. Take care.